we only install equipment that's R134 4A and we had been doing that prior to that. In other words, we've been doing this for about 15 years now, uh, if not more, where you know we ourselves have been using R134A. The reason why a lot of uh, installers wouldn't use R134A and instead went with R22 is because R22 was a little bit more uh, efficient. You could get more out of it. However, as of 2010, again, uh, it was no longer a production item, so. Was there a reason? Uh, basically, the, the laws always change. OSHA regulations and EPA standards, uh, they, they constantly change. So the reason why that was banned is because it had chlorine. It's a blend that contains chlorine. So anytime chlorine goes out into the atmosphere, scientists have found that it deploys the ozone layer. So in order for them to, you know, help with pollution and, and what have you, um, refrigerants like this have been banned. So not until each one of those systems uh, is updated, you'll still have them around and parts will be produced. But once the compressor goes out, I usually always go in to, to try to convert it over into a 134A system at that point. Okay, so they do have the option to be able to convert it. So if they if they wanted to, let's just say they were eco-friendly, would they be able to reach out to you and get it converted? Oh yeah, that's not a problem. We do that all the time. We basically is what we call retrofit. So we retrofit uh, existing systems to ozone-friendly refrigerant systems.